Hey, this is Stephen with Knife TV at the Art Knife Invitational, October 30th, 2015. Sitting with Gray Taylor and his lovely wife, Evelyn. How you guys doing? Doing great. Doing good. Doing good. <laughs> okay. Gray, um, we are looking at the cover of the Art Knife Invitational catalog. You are on it. It's a little bit of uh, really slick handle material, gold, and multiple blades you're known for that how'd you get into that uh, I, I used to make straight knives and and just the one blade folding knives and I saw some of these knives that were made in Sheffield England back in the probably 1800s some of them in the late 1700s and they just seemed like such a challenge and no one was making them no one was doing work like that and I thought somebody should be doing it. And it's a lot harder to put 10 blades in a knife than it is one. Sometimes it'll take six months to make one knife. And, uh, but it's a challenge. You said it takes six months to make one knife sometimes? Sometimes. Sometimes with, with 10 blades or more, it'll take six months to make one knife. Have you ever messed one up? Uh, you make them in different pieces. So sometimes you'll me mess up a piece and it won't fit. So you go back and make that one piece again. So uh, yes, I do mess up, but I try not to because it costs a lot of time. I understand that. Evelyn, yeah, you and Gray were high school sweethearts. How long have you been married? Nearly 52 years. 52 years, and you guys got kids? We have three children and eight grandchildren. Eight grandchildren, that's amazing. So. How did you uh, respond to Gray when he decided he was going to make knives for a living? I thought it, I thought he'd like do it for a while and then just let it you know, go on by because he had had other hobbies, but this one has stuck since 1976. So. He's been making knives professionally since 1976. It's almost 40 years. Right. I joined the guild in 1976. You joined the Knife Makers Guild in 1976. And what primarily were you making back then? Uh, occasionally a bowie knife and, and drop point hunters. So what made you decide to work in the materials that you're working in now, the gold and the exotic handle materials? Because it's rare and it's uh, hard to get a hold of, uh, some of the material is. Um, just the rarity of it, that's what collectors want. They don't want something you walk out here and buy anywhere. Now, um, for those of uh, our viewers that don't know, you've won the Buster Award twice now? Three times. Three times. Uh, and it's only been in existence for uh, five AKIs or th four AKIs. So out of four um, Art Knife Invitationals, you've won an award by people in attendance three times. To what do you attribute that? Um, <laughs> gosh, I don't know. I put forth a lot of effort. There are other wonderful knife makers here, and and I don't want to take away from anything they do, but uh, I guess I'm doing things that are unusual, and people recognize it, and they want to reward it. So uh, that's that's what I attribute me winning those, this award. And Evelyn, if I could get you to hold up uh, your necklace that Gray made you, it's four gold blades, and that is a recognition of how many years of marriage? 52. 52 years of marriage. Uh, Gray, uh, you are a well, well-known and respected maker. Anything you want to uh, add about uh, anybody that's influenced you or, or people that you, you're thinking about? Uh. Corbett Sigmund, who is now dead and gone, was an old knife maker, very intelligent, lived in West Virginia. Uh, he was very meticulous in everything that he did, making sure he did it right. He was a big influence back when I first started. <clears throat> and uh, uh, looking at Buster Warinsky, he was a guy that uh, every show you went to, he had something a little better than the last time. <coughs> so that's what I, I try to do. I, every show I try to bring something a little bit better than I did last time. 
That's great to hear. Evelyn, anything that you, you think about the knife community or the, the knife industry? Well, I, it's been good to us. It has been good to us. We've, it's allowed us to meet a lot of nice people like you. And uh, but uh, it's you know we're partners as far as I take care of all the the book work and you know, all the paperwork and everything and and I program the GPS and get us here. <laughs> so if nothing else, uh, this is Stephen from the uh, Art Knife Invitational at Knife TV pointing out that Great Taylor is doing some great work. Three-time Buster Warensky Award winner out of four. He's got a great woman backing him up, and we look forward to seeing out what he comes up with again thank you thank you thank you very much all right Stephen with knife tv art knife invitational october 30th 2015 thank you